Hi everybody, Ghetto Hillbilly One, also known as Dylan here. I'm doing my first unboxing video. I've received this package from Morningstar. I know what it is. Uh, I hope, anyways. This is, like I said, my first unboxing video. It's the first time I've ever received anything to unbox online. So I thought, hey, why not uh, put an unboxing up? I have my handy dandy little purple knife. It's kind of neat because I found this knife in a mud puddle when I was 13 years old. I actually went like this because I was stupid when I was young and I ran my thumb down the blade and sliced it right down to the nail. It's not that sharp anymore. I kept it after that just because of that fact and I lost it probably 10 years ago or better maybe even 15 years ago now. I haven't seen it in years. The other day I was outside of my dad's shed and there it was just laying there in the dirt. Couldn't believe it. Anyways, so I had my packing slip in there. You know, you don't need to see that. I thought I'd just remove that prior. If you really want to see it, it's in my last one of my last videos, one of my vlogs. Well, I guess you'd call it. I'm just gonna cut right through this bag. Because yeah. I was really surprised they actually just left this out in front of my house. Alright, well, alright, we use the, the big bubble wrap, this stuff isn't as fun, but you can still blow it up, and the, the, the big ones, you use this for a pillow, that blows up real good. These are pretty good by themselves. And then uh, some little bubble wrap. So let's open this first. Ah, oh, Dad's going to be happy when he sees this. No, he is not. Well, this isn't what I thought it was at all. Burner. I appreciate them sending it to me. But this is just the cover plate. I thought this was the digital cover plate. We already have this. So this is not any good to me, unfortunately. Shoot. I didn't realize that. I thought, yeah, I really thought it was something different. Oh well, it is what it is. It's in nice shape. <laughs> but yeah, we already have this cover, but we threw ours away. Or we didn't throw it away. Uh, we just don't use it because we want to be able to interface with the charge controller. And right now, the only way to do that is with the computer. So uh, we just got the three lights there otherwise. And uh, you have to take this off to plug in your computer, so that's why we don't have one on there. I guess that's what he saw and thought that's what I needed. Unfortunately, that's not what I was hoping for. Now, in here, well, this is used and I knew it was. They gave me a really good deal though. But this is an MPPT charge controller. Sunsaver NPPT. Let's show it to you here. It's got the uh, what's that called? Oh, there's a meter of some kind that goes in here. It's got uh, your load, your battery, and your solar. I don't know if you guys will be able to read the ratings and that. Yeah, and then uh, it's just a little 15 amper. I'm gonna set this up in my camp. But yeah, there's the front of her. If you guys remember what I have in my camp right now, <laughs> I have a what is it? A Sun Force $10 charge controller that all it does is just turn it on and off. It doesn't do much of anything. Hmm, it's a temperature sensor. Interesting. I'm not really sure if this... I'll have to look. Anyways, that's it. So, uh... Look forward to seeing this getting hooked up soon in my camp. And some uh, review videos on it. Unfortunately... I'm not going to be doing a review on this because it's not what I thought it was. I thought this had the digital display. And, uh... Where we can interface with everything. As far as uh, this goes, uh, I don't know. I may actually send it back to them just because I really don't need it and everything. Well, I got some documentation as well. 
I got a sticker. Start sticking my stickers on stuff. I got a couple of them. This is just uh, one of their pamphlets. You can read that. Just showing yeah, some of their some of their features, some of their stuff. Yeah, you see. If you look, this is what I thought. Oh, there we go. See the faceplate on that guy? That's what I thought they were sending me. Because it seems all of the trucks there, or all these controllers, have them. But yeah. Anyways, this is just a pamphlet saying what's there. Just some directions for lighting control. And. The operator's manual and all that stuff. So there you go. Unfortunately, it wasn't exactly what I was thinking, but pretty excited about this. This is going to make a big difference in my camp, I think, and charging, keeping my batteries in my camp at a decent level. The problem I have right now in uh, my camp is that my batteries don't get used enough, and where the charge controller that I have just turns on and off the battery doesn't equalize or do any of that stuff so it just basically it's putting a bigger bigger surface charge on without using it it slowly you know the battery gets crapped crapped out and you know you know what I mean and if you don't well you can ask but yeah this is a cool rig it's heavy it's really heavy the one I got for uh, in my camp right now is plastic and it weighs less than this does I think but anyways, thank you TriStar, or Morningstar I should say. The TriStar is their controller. Morningstar is the company. So yeah, thank you Morningstar. Fortunately that wasn't the right panel. Other than that, I'm more than pleased. And I have nothing bad to say about it. You guys are awesome. And anybody wondering about uh, Morningstar's products, the panel that this goes to is what my father has for his off-grid property and has used for over 10 years. We've done this blind. We, all we've ever had is the three indicator lights that go up in these holes here to tell us what's going on until about six months ago we hooked the computer up. So now we know a little more about what's going on. It's still, it's a day-to-day -day thing. Anyways, was hoping for that panel. Guess not, but I still got this, so I'm very happy. But check out uh, Morningstar. You know, you want charge controllers, I don't think there's any better. They just, they're high quality, tough gear. The one, this one here that my father has, the uh, TS-45, in particular, uh, we know is pretty much bulletproof. We've shorted it out by accident. We've crossed wires, we've hooked it up backwards. We've done pretty much everything except... Um, run too high of a load into it. We haven't overpowered it because we don't have enough power. Actually that's not necessarily true. We may have overloaded it uh, having the generator power, the generator powering the battery charger, charging the batteries without disconnecting the charge controller. But the thing still works. It's still there. It's still working right now. So obviously it's no worse for wear and it, it's made to actually handle that kind of thing. So, uh, thumbs up to the guys at Morningstar, and again, expect a review soon on this guy. Little 15 amp super controller, MPPT, it's going to make a big difference. My father's only got a PWM controller. This being MPPT, I think, is going to make a huge difference for the problems I've had. Not to mention it's a real charge controller, unlike my old one, which is uh, basically a toy. All right, everybody, I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, stay tuned. There's going to be more unboxings and reviews in the near future. I'm kind of branching out on my YouTube and going after this section of the market, so to speak, just seeing, you know, what it's about and uh, get some reviews out there. And my reviews are honest. You know, like if this don't work, if this here don't work, be prepared to hear about it. But it will. 
I'm pretty sure. I can't see why it wouldn't. <laughs> but uh, no, my I do plan on doing completely honest, unbiased reviews just because people say they're going to send me dump truck. Well, if they send say they're going to send me dump truck loads full of cash, I might say I might do a fake review, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So uh, until that happens, every single one of my views is unbiased and honest. And if it's crap, I'm going to tell you it's crap. And even you know I wouldn't advertise crap. For somebody saying it's good just because they brought me dump truck loads of cash unless it was all $100 bills. <laughs> Alright everybody, have fun out there.